are drowning in information, but we are starving for knowledge and wisdom. Great words from John Nisbet, the author of Future Studies. My dear Gunas Chair, judges, fellow Toastmasters, and guests, good evening. Good evening. Before I start, let me ask a very simple question to you. In the last, the past one, last one week, how many days you didn't think about the word Google? I think no days. Huh? Yes. Okay. Let me put some sentimental question. I don't want anybody to answer. Just keep the answer within you. Past one week, how many days you thought about your mother? Very sentimental question to answer in public. A new survey saying that in the modern world, people have days, many days, number of days, where they didn't think about their beloved ones, but they don't have any days without thinking Google, Facebook, WhatsApp, and so on. Pity reality. It's the influence of technology. Yes. From the first industrial revolution to this very moment, technology is evolving in its fastest pace to support and help mankind to improve our lifestyle and to solve our complex life problems. In every aspect of our life, we use technology. We use at home, we use at work, Schools, at most, we use for our socializing purpose. We Toastmasters migrated from our legacy learning platform to LMS Pathways. It's evident everywhere. You turn around anywhere, every televisions, telephones, ovens, refrigerator, you name it. They use this kind of technology these days. Even technology have all these positive things. It have very bad negative impact on mankind. It's another kind of colonialization. Instead of inverting into the land, they invert into our brain, invert into our mind. They colonize our brain. They steal our ability to think and imagine. They enslave us into a technological maya. Are you people feeling this? Yes. That is the worst case. And many of us, we proudly say technology connect people. Really it is connecting? Recently I just come across in uh, social media about a couple's bedroom story. Don't imagine too much. Husband was asking his bed half to move little in the bed. Unfortunate. One time, two time, three time, she don't listen to him. He took his WhatsApp, his, his uh, smartphone, sent a message to her, honey, could you please move little so I can sleep? Immediately he moved. So we are connected to the faraway people, but disconnected with our own people. So technology is not connecting us. And another survey saying that after marriage, many people feeling that they are alone. They feel the loneliness because their spouses, whether it's a man or lady, they are more engaged with their smartphone than their spouses. The worst case of technological influence is influencing into your privacy, the interference into your privacy. The device you carry, the mobile, we know more about you than your best friend, than your spouse. It have all, in, all your information. So what we are risking? We are risking our privacy. Last year, Google, Amazon, and Apple, they were caught hiring human interpreters 
to transcript voice messages they copy from their client who we believe the reality in our life most of us are most reaching our end of life the sunset of our life is nearing or the sunset of our life may approach faster than you think are we ready to give the battle to the new generation if you want to be ready you have to get off this get out of this technological maya you have to unleash yourself from this technology once albert einstein said that said i fear a day the technology will overcome human intervention and the world will be filled with a generation of idiots do we want to have our future generation to be idiots no for that we have to do a little change in our life we have to change our attitude we have to put some discipline in our life instead of looking for fast internet we have fast on internet and rosa on internet let teach our kids happiness well beingness that only give a hope to human life hope to humanity thank you back to the other side